Vice President Kamala Harris is taking over the government's response to the growing humanitarian crisis at the southern border. On Wednesday, President Biden announced he was tapping the vice president for the job. She will lead the administration's effort to stem the flow of migrants entering the U.S. I've asked her, uh, the VP today, because she's the most qualified person to do it, to lead our efforts with uh, Mexico and the Northern Triangle and the countries uh, that uh, help us. we're going to need help in stemming the movement of uh, so many folks uh, stemming the migration to our southern border. The administration says it will open at least seven additional emergency intake facilities to house a surge of unaccompanied migrant children. According to data provided to CBS News, the Department of Health and Human Services is now housing over 11,000 unaccompanied children in shelters across the country. On Wednesday, top White House officials and members of Congress toured an influx housing facility for minors in Carrizo Springs, Texas. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News immigration reporter Camilo Montoya Galvez. Uh, Camilo, welcome. So Vice President Harris is leading the administration's response to the immigration issue. How might her seniority enable her to do what isn't already happening? Hi, Elaine. Vice President Harris, as you mentioned, will be assuming a role similar to the one exercised by then Vice President Joe Biden during the Obama administration. As you may remember, Elaine, President Obama tapped then Vice President Joe Biden to work with governments in Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador to reduce U.S.-bound unauthorized migration and to address the root causes of that migration, which include poverty and gang violence. We know uh, Pre uh, Vice President Harris will be assuming similar responsibilities, but to be frank, uh, Elaine, Vice President Harris' administration is facing a completely different situation at the U.S.-Mexico border than the ones faced by prior administrations. U.S. border officials have been encountering, on average, more than 500 unaccompanied migrant children per day in March. This month, we expect to see more than 16,000 total apprehensions of unaccompanied children, which will be an all-time high, even higher than the previous record high in May of 2019, when more than 11,000 unaccompanied migrant children entered U.S. border custody. There are thousands of migrant children currently stranded in border patrol facilities that are not designed to house them in the long term, and the administration is struggling to move them out into shelters that are child appropriate uh, and that will offer them the appropriate services because of just the sheer numbers of children coming in mm -hmm. and the limited holding capacity. 16,000 is just an astounding figure, Camilo. Well, as we mentioned, top U.S. officials and members of Congress toured a facility in Carrizo Springs, Texas, Wednesday. What can you tell us about that? Mm. Yeah, this is a facility overseen by the Department of Health and Human Services, which has a responsibility to care for unaccompanied migrant children until it can place them with sponsors, typically family members, in the U.S. So this is one of the more appropriate settings for children. Uh, they are not facing overcrowded conditions in these shelters. They have services here. Uh, they have access to vaccination, to COVID-19 testing, access to lawyers as well services that they do not have in Border Patrol stations. So the administration, uh, in its first visit with press access has decided uh, to visit a facility where there is no overcrowding. The administration has yet uh, to allow journalists like us and other outlets to visit these border patrol stations where we know there is plenty of overcrowding, uh, where we know many of the children have reported sleeping on the floor, seeing, uh, not seeing the sun rather, uh, for nearly a week and showering once in just in as many as uh, seven days. So uh, it is still important for us to just keep the pressure on the administration to allow us to witness the conditions inside these Border Patrol facilities. 
Yeah, on this question of media access, so the administration faced criticism earlier this week after Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar of Texas published photos from what looks like an overcrowded immigrant processing center. Now, he cited the administration's barring media access as the reason for posting them. How is the White House responding? Well, the White House has said on multiple occasions that it is doing everything it can to try to transfer these unaccompanied children out of Border Patrol facilities because everyone, including Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, has conceded that these facilities are not fit for sh children, that children should not be here, especially for prolonged periods of time. But the reality is, Elaine, again, that many of these children are being held in these border patrol facilities beyond 72 hours, which is the legal limit enshrined in U.S. law that border patrol has to transfer these unaccompanied children to the Department of Health and Human Services. So we're still trying to figure out what other steps the Biden administration will undertake to try to get these children out of this out of these inappropriate facilities. And you touched on this a moment ago, Camilo. The U.S. is on track to take in that record number of unaccompanied minors this month, some 16,000. What more can you tell us about the new shelters that the administration plans to open and when they can actually start taking in children? Yes, the Biden administration is on track, Elaine, to open seven emergency facilities to house unaccompanied migrant children. They will include more than 10,000 10, beds. Uh, for context, during the four years of the Trump administration, only three influx emergency facilities at the Department of Health and Human Services were open during those four years. So it, it is a stark uh, contrast that two months into the administration, it is already having to open seven facilities because of this historic number of unaccompanied migrant children entering U.S. border custody. We know two of these influx facilities are convention centers, uh, one in Dallas, one in San Diego. We also have a public venue in San Antonio that will also be converted, converted into a makeshift shelter. And we also have two camps that used to house oil workers that will also be converted into temporary housing facilities for unaccompanied migrant children. The Department of Health and Human Services has insisted that children inside these facilities will receive the same services and the same standards of care than they would have in state licensed shelters. It's such a critical issue, and I know you're going to continue to follow it closely. Camila Montoya Galvez. Camila, thank you very much.